<laughs> Can I help you? You got it? You got it? You need any help? Lumber is two miles down. Faucets? I could fix your faucet. Heck yes! You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. All right, don't get me wrong. I love REI. REI is where I make all my big purchases, including my tent and my sleeping bag. Everything else, I really try to shop for deals because I don't have a lot of money. I know this gorgeous face and this rock and bod. Due to COVID, my side hustle stripping at the Gold Pony has been put on a temporary hold. With that being said, a while back, I ended up at Home Depot and I was ordering some paint. While I was waiting for the gentleman to mix my paint, I came across a cardboard box, just a stack full of these gloves. And I just put them on just to do something and then it hit me these are the perfect gloves for backpacking like textbook perfect and then it hit me again what other hidden treasures are found throughout this magical hardware store they call the home depot i walked up and down the aisles of the home depot for hours just for you and i found a ton of huge deals on some unique backpacking gear. I'm just really trying to help out whoever really can't afford a lot of things at REI, like me. All right, here we go, let's do this. This is the Home Depot Hall 2021. Flight attendants, please prepare for liftoff. Yeehaw, cowboy! I'm doing that in every video, it's happening. I really should have got this sponsored by Home Depot. That would have made a lot of sense. Let's start with the item that started it all. These are the utility gloves from Firm Grip. They cost $9.88 for three of them. Let me just stick them on for you. Dang, that's all I gotta say is dang. If I saw me on the trail, I'd be like, that girl is freaking cool. These are workman's gloves. They're lightweight, they're breathable, and they're warm. The number one reason I love these gloves is the grip. These gloves have incredible padding on the palm. They're just perfect for giving you extra padding when you're gripping your trekking poles. These are the gloves that I took on the Tahoe Rim Trail and they worked perfectly. These gloves are perfect if you're making a fire and have to like break branches. They're just that extra padding is just, ah. I got the gray ones too. Gray, yellow, and red. They're workman's gloves. Yeah, they worked perfectly. I, I'm super excited about them. The Home Depot had a ton of gloves. They had a whole wall of just gloves. They also had some fingerless gloves, leather gloves. I personally love these. Look how vintage. And of course, gloves for ladies for our soft, delicate hands. So my next Home Depot find is the Paraframe One three inch stainless steel folding knife from Gerber. And this retails for $19.97. The blade material is made of high carbon stainless steel and has a lightweight open stainless steel handle and a frame lock. Now a frame lock means you just have to push in one side of the frame in order for it to lock. It weighs 2.56 ounces and is an excellent choice for a backpacking knife. Home Depot didn't have a hell of a lot of knife options, but the ones that they did have were perfect if you don't want to spend a lot of money but want something reliable that will do the job. I also really love this other knife from Husky with the rosewood handle, which retailed for $6.97. Like this was such a find for me. I got super excited about this. My next Home Depot find is this lead puck knife from West Tech. And it retails for $9.99 for a two pack. Lots so bright. I'm just kidding. Woo, baby. This light has got a rugged design, dual mode, so you can make it brighter or dimmer by tapping on the front. It's long lasting with three AAA batteries, which powers the light for 20 hours. This is insanely lightweight and compact. It actually too has a magnet on the back. I think these were actually designed to go under like cabinets, like in your garage or something. This is an awesome light if you're somebody who likes extra light at their campsite or in their tent. I personally always like hiking with two light sources other than my phone. So I personally love something like this along with my headlamp. Speaking of headlamp, the Home Depot has some headlamps and they are some pretty damn good ones. They had one from Coast, Energizer, a three pack from Defiant. That's really awesome if you're doing an overnighter with multiple people who don't have headlamps. You could just buy a three pack and just give everybody one. They also had mini flashlights and freaking glow sticks for like three bucks in case you wanted some for your emergency bag or if you're going to Coachella. I love this thing.
My next find are these 18 inch black gear ties from Night Eyes and they cost $4.97 for a pack of two. I have no idea why I got the black ones. I should have got the orange ones so you could see it better. These are waterproof, reusable rubber twist ties. I use them to seal food or just to tie things to the outside of my pack. Actually, I found the best use for these is to wrap them around my DJI Osmo and use it as a hand grip or a tripod. Now in the same aisle as the gear ties are one of my favorite things in life, bungee cords. On the Pacific Northwest Trail the entire way, I ended up bungee cording my tent to the outside of my pack. I'm a bungee ho. The Home Depot has a plethora of bungees. They have this small container of 20 mini bungees for six bucks. I'm also really into flat bungees. I find they hold down my gear a little bit better than the round ones. God, they are so sexy. I get so turned on by a good bungee cord. You can also buy bungees individually for, wait, hang on a second, I can't see it. $1.98? Oh my God, what a steal. This has to be a mistake. They also have some more heavy duty bungees with carabiners on both ends. Near the bungees were the carabiners. Just, my heart was just fluttering. They had single cheaper carabiners for 98 cents. They had this big kahuna for $3.48. It just goes on and on and on. The Home Depot had just a ton of things to tie down your gear, wrap your gear, hold your gear, have your gear hanging from the outside of your pack. I was overwhelmed. <sighs> Next item on this Home Depot holorama is a red multifunctional neck gaiter from Milwaukee. And it retails for $12.97. Now at a store like REI, you'd be lucky if you can get a neck gaiter for like $20 on sale. These protect you from harmful UV rays. Let me just show it to you. This is what it looks like. You can wear it five different ways. I see a lot of backpackers hiking with these and, and Home Depot I think had three color options. So they're limited with the colors, but you don't need those like bright patterns with like polka dots and rainbows and unicorns. Just keep it simple. If you want to look cool, um, I would highly invest in getting one of these because you will look cool. My next Home Depot treasure is a towel. This is an 18 by 18 inch microfiber cloth from QEP and it retails for $2.47. Backpacking towels are expensive. Backpacking towels can range anywhere between $5 to $40 depending on the size. I think what you're paying for is that little hook that's attached so you can hang it just use a hair tie or something. I found this microfiber towel in the flooring section. I think it's actually used to clean grout. I, that, but it's great. This is an awesome towel. It's light, it's soft, it's microfiber, so it dries fast. Home Depot had a bunch of towel options. I found this big pack of 18 towels for nine bucks. This would be great for a camping trip with a lot of people, so everybody can have their own small towel. I even found this awesome microfiber towel used to dry a car and it was so soft and so light. All of these are such an ideal option to use as a camping towel. This is small for some people, but if, if I'm on like a backpacking trip, this is literally all I need. I, I, I probably wouldn't go bigger than this. And again, it was this towel was under $3. Ha, <laughs> that is a steal. All right, my, my next product is a sponge. This is a heavy duty sponge. Damn it. I gotta figure out the brands. All right, sorry. I didn't know the brands. I, sorry, I didn't have it written in my notes what brand it was. Scotch Bright, literally the most popular sponge brand. These are awesome to clean pots and stove burners, broilers and grills, and my jet boil. I am somebody who always uses a stove when they're backpacking, and sometimes some of that food can get all crusty. Something like this just cleans it really, really well. So what I'll do is I'll cut one in half, and then I'll cut it again and stick that in my jet boil when I'm hiking. It's very, very heavy duty. Heck yeah! I use this to clean my knife and my shoes. Go with the heavy duty. Don't just go with a regular sponge because nothing will ever get clean. Trust me, I know this. Nothing, it'll be so annoying. So the items I just showed you, I purchased because I will be using those on my next camping trip to Anza Borrego next month. There was a lot more backpacking items that I saw at the Home Depot. Let's do this. These are some honorable mentions. Backpacking gear, Home Depot style 2021. Insect repellent. They have every kind of ointment to protect your beautiful and sensitive skin from those pesty bugs. 
They have a whole damn wall of it. They have this KT tape, which is the best for injuries or sore muscles. Or you can use it to tape up your new friend's big mouth when they can't stop talking about how big their dump was that morning. They also have this bucket you can use for those big dumps. I also saw on their website this chair you can sit in to take a big dump. They have this awesome med kit, this heavy duty coverall to protect yourself from the bug infestation for small children. I thought this light was pretty cool. It was lightweight and gave off some excellent light. Oh, and this massaging weighted heating pad. Yes, please. Lighters, everybody always needs lighters. Ooh, I found these tumbleweed natural fire starters. I found this cheap super glue in case you wanted to glue your boyfriend's butt cheeks together as a joke. There's a ton of face masks, so stylish. This hat, oh my God, I look like, I look totally like a biker babe. These stylish sunglasses to shield out the bad vibes. These stakes to hold down your tent. They weigh about 20 pounds each. What the heck? Oh, hell yeah, that'll freaking hold down a house. This husky side pouch, if you wanted more space for snacks and drugs. Oh, just a side note, I love Home Depot pencils. Seriously, they're fat. I like that. I found this cute Home Depot apron for more snacks and drugs. These shaving tools, they're for wood, but have you seen my feet? They had a bunch of ponchos. Oh, and check these out, these overalls, freaking sexy. Reflectors that you can attach to your pack so cars can see your sorry ass when you're walking alone down the highway. Little trees because you stank like bow shit. Earplugs for all the bears partying outside your tent. This flag to summon a cute paramedic because you hurt both your tits and he needs to examine them. Hell, I love this light. <laughs> this huge ass leveler so you can find the perfect plot of land to pitch your tent on. A whole damn shower to clean your dirty body off. A sink so you can brush your tooth. And of course, a toilet for all those big dumps you boys make. Because remember, girls don't have buttholes. All right, I am exhausted. Truly exhausted. I hope some of these items from Home Depot tickled your fancy. A link to the main items is in the description below. Subscribe to my channel if you are not already. What is wrong with you? Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week. Oh, here it is. How to wear this thing in five different ways. All right, way number one is wearing it just like a mask. <laughs> what if you saw me in the store just doing that? <laughs> way number two, oh, just around your neck. Okay, way number three, my hair, I've got a lot of hair. Way number three is gonna be like, oh my God. All right, way number three is just gonna be, you know what, no. Ooh. Ooh. Hi. First way on the website, it's saying they count this as a way and then they count this as a way. All right. Dude, that's kind of cute. I'll read your fortune. <laughs> do like this and just do like a little flop. I call this um the elf style. Gotta go to the workshop and make some more toys for Santa Claus. You're welcome for all this education.